The Healthy Soils Service was, was introduced as a way for farmers um, to be able to gauge a sort of a baseline level for, for where their soils are in terms of health. And we can come onto farm and sort of give them a benchmark level for, for how their soils are performing, what sort of state they're in. So we'll go into, we, we pick one, two, three fields, we may even do the whole farm, the, the service is quite flexible and we will then perform our healthy soils assessment which includes a physical soil assessment with a number of different tests involved in that looking at biological factors as well so earthworm numbers, soil biology and we will then also take a soil sample for an in-depth lab analysis which is the chemical part so it's the biological, the physical and the chemical three aspects that make up the healthy soils assessment. We found over the last few years that yields have plateaued and that's why we called in outside help to give advice on our soil health. Certainly as a landowner the best way to start the process is to carry out a doomsday study so you know exactly what your starting point is. From that and with the detailed report that Hutchinson's gave us we then could actually roll out a program best suited to the soil, our current state of health and also what crops we were producing here. Working with the first report is we found that actually the soil was not in bad condition. However, you can always improve things. And certainly part of our future proofing program is to up the organic matter content in the soil as well as the biodiversity. And it's those two aspects which we're really concentrating on by using cover crops and also minimum tillage. It's really important that we assess our soils at the right time of year. Um, we generally carry out the healthy soils assessments end of February, March, perhaps the beginning of April when soils have been at their wettest and they're beginning to dry out. And the reason we do that is if you try and assess soils when they're too dry, you can come to conclusions that um, are completely wrong. For instance, subsoiling. A lot of people like to go out and look at their fields after harvest to make decisions about subsoiling for the following year but when they're bone dry you're, you're naturally going to assume there's an issue when actually there isn't. So soil moisture and having enough of it when we do these assessments is critical. Well whilst our end goal will take many years to achieve, it is gratifying to see instantaneous results and so within a season two season we're already seeing better water retention, we're seeing more organic matter and actually we're seeing very good take up of some of the crops. And my key objective is to be able to hand over the farm in better state than I took it on.